we got a message on the blog uh, from someone concerned about their diarrhea since started trading for long distance running. Effectively, what they're talking about is runner's diarrhea. This is often suffered by about 60% of people doing long distance running. And there are many reasons of it. One, long distance runners often use painkillers to help with recovery even before a run. Now, these painkillers can often cause inflammation in the colon lining, leading to then diarrhea. Two, all the running that you're doing is jiggling things around. And as with everything, the more it shakes, the more quicker it comes out. Just like if you have a laxative and you go walking, it's going to come out even more, even quicker. Number three, dehydration. If you're dehydrated, the blood supply is going to go to the muscles that's going to take you from point A to B, not to your stomach, not to your colon, not to your GI system, which needs the blood. And then that can also lead to uh, inflammation via root of ischemic colitis. It's like having a heart attack, but to your colon. Number four, if you have heavy, full, hearty meals and, and high protein, high fat, high fiber, it's going to take a longer time to digest. And while it's digesting and you go running, the blood supply is going to run off to somewhere else and then that will also lead to diarrhea, sometimes nausea, even maybe vomiting. These are essential few things to consider about runner's diarrhea. Now, runner's diarrhea is often suffered by uh, long distance celebrities even. You will hear about them stopping to poop by a bush and then carrying on the thing, which can happen. Now, what's important to remember is this. Short-lived episodes of runner's diarrhea may be okay, but any change in your bowel habit cannot be ignored. You must see your doctor. What if it's something else? We'd rather tell you it is nothing than it is too late. Now, what do you do if you have runner's diarrhea? Well, essentially addressing the causes. If you take painkillers, stop it. Number two, if you're getting dehydrated, get fluids on your run. Colder fluids keep things slower down, then warm fluids will speed things up. And then number three, have a larger gap between your last meal and your run. Any change in your bowel habit, any change in your health should not be ignored. If you have anything that sounds like runner's diarrhea, you want to be sure. See your gastroenterologist.